Hey, this is Rick uh, working on the 2008 uh, Sonata. Uh, Going to replace the starter. Uh, so, get started here. All right. So first thing, of course, uh, I'm doing the negative side. The battery there. Okay. And then. Uh, Take this off here I think, uh, to get to the bolts. One definitely, I'm going to take this. So, right here is uh, Phillips, right there. And then there's the hose here. Okay. Clamp there, I'll do. And then up here is another clamp. So, I'm going to just see about just kind of wiggling it out here. And then I'm just gonna, so I did it there, and then I'm just gonna see if I can just swing it up. Just enough to get out of the way there so I don't have to take off the, the box there, but you just gotta watch your wires. Like that. So I loosen that up. Okay, and I should be able to just swing it up just to give you room in there. So the starter is right there, and the bolts are right here. It's two. If I remember right, yeah, there's one on the top, bottom, and then, uh, yeah. So anyway, so I gotta lift it up and see what we got. All right, so I lifted it up. Um, yeah, so there is just the two bolts. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was thinking there's three of them, but so there's one right back here. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, so right there, and then there's the other one right here. Okay. So let's move this. Hose moved, you can see it right there. Yeah, and then the other one's just right here. Okay, hmm. yep, yeah. now you get a better shot. So it's just the two. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unbolt those, and then the starter will I'll be able to drop it, and then I'll show you just basically removing the wires. Um, so, here's the new one. So, this is the way it's sitting in there, like that. Of course, here's where the two bolts are. Yeah. All right. So now, um, see with the hoses in the way. I mean, you got to kind of, you're gonna have to move them, move them aside so you can get to the bolts there. But now you can see the. Let's see. See now you can see. What I did is I undid them like that, and I'm just leaving them. Um, and it, what I did is I put my hand under under the intake and then so this way let's see see the starters right there now okay so what I do is I'm holding it as I'm undoing the bolts to kind of relieve the pressure so the bolts come off easier I can just do them by hand undo them okay so I'll get under there Basically, so it's right here. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna. Yeah, my hands get in the way, but it's nice. It's a small starter, so I just want to find the wires. I don't know if it's gonna be able to drop. Yeah, the wire's right there. Alright, so I'm gonna just wiggle this out. 
but you're not going to be able to get to the anything from the top there, so. Alright, well, it's going to take a second to get that out, so. Alright, uh, see, I thought I would have to move the bracket. Yeah. The bracket, it goes from the block to the... Uh, Let's see the intake there, but luckily what I did is I put the starter back in its place um, and then I lifted the back end up. I lifted the back end and then I was able to tilt it so the this part of the gear comes down first so I was able to get. And then there's a clip here, a little connection, wire connection, and then uh, Let's see, it's like a, I think it's like a 12. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a 12. 12 right there. And then it will come down. So, and then of course the reverse is when I put the, on the new one. I'll go ahead and tilt it like this, up in place. And then, once it goes up like that, and then I'll be able to put this into, sit it in there. And then also, uh, yeah, I got a jack, of course. Now I have a small bottle jack, kind of for extra instead of a um, jack stand. And then I have the back wheel blocked and the, the parking brake on, stuff like that. So just some extra things there. Okay, so yeah, that looks, yeah, that's what I just want to tell. But like I said, though, you put it in place, and then you can tilt the tilt the bottom where the wires are, tilt that down, and then bring it out from the tranny, and you'll be able to pull it down. And then it's just doing the wires. So, all right. So I got the old one out. So yeah. So this is the hello. Yes, this is the one right here. It is 12 millimeter. This one you don't have to worry about, of course. Um, and then the plug. Okay, so you just, of course, want to match them up. New and old. Looks fine. Looks like it. Uh, yeah, so this is from Rock Auto. This one, uh, it's a new one, not a rebuilt, so of course you don't have to send the core in. Um, so yeah, so uh, somewhere, I think it was like $85 uh, shipped, so yeah. All right, so yeah, comes in a new nut there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in, hook up the wires, and just put it in place there. Slide it back in and put, put the bolts in there. All right. All right, got the starter in. Took a little doing. Um, like I said, you know, I put my hand under the intake to hold it. So once you get it in there, Kind of hold it as you get the bolt started, you know, so you can get those started easily. There's the other one right there. So yeah, just a two. Um, so I, when I was uh, hook up the wires down there, I need a little more room, you know, because it's pretty tight. The wires aren't too long. So what I did is there's a bracket right here for this. Right here, it's a 10 millimeter. Okay, still gotta put that in. Just showing you that. And then this one for the intake, there's a 10. So I removed that, and then I disconnected the um, positive, and it gave me a little bit more room for hooking up the wires under there. So that helped, so. All right, so I'll go ahead and fire it up here. Let's 
good to go. Yep. That's it there. Alright, so hey, thanks for watching. Bye now.